Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can retarget any Mixamo animation to the default Unreal Engine character. Here is a quick preview. As you can see, we are inside the retargeter with the whiteboard from Mixamo and the default Unreal Engine character. I can start and select any animation I imported into the Unreal Engine. When I press start, the retarget will automatically convert the animation to the mannequin. So let's get started. I'm inside the Unreal Engine 5.3 running the third person template. First let's create a Mixamo folder. Then go to the Mixamo website, create an account, log in and go to characters. Inside here pick a character you like. I will go with the classic Y board. Select FBX binary and select the T-pose. Then change, then change to the animation tab and search for an animation. I will take a simple dance animation. If your animation is not showing, reload the page. Click download and make sure that you select without skin. Then you can change the frames per second if you like. Back in the engine, let's import our character and our animation. Click on import, search for your Y bot and double click the Y bot. In the import options, make sure that skeletal mesh is selected and under skeleton we want to have none. Wait for the engine to import everything and then hit on import again and this time select the animation and under skeleton select the UI board. And next we want to create an IKEA rig from the skeleton. With the IKEA rig system we can create chains of bones like the limbs or fingers. The engine will then use that information to map an animation to any character with the same chain bones information. The first thing you have to do here is set the retarget root. For the Y bot, it's the first bone, the root bone. So right click and set as retarget root. Let us pick the spine bones. Select the first one, then select the last one with the shift key pressed. Then right click onto that and select new retarget chain. I will take the default chain name here. The start bone is the first bone in the chain and the end bone is the last bone in the chain. That will help the engine to determine how the animation should be wrapped. Then let's select the neck and the head and create a new bone chain called head. Do the same for the left shoulder. And do the same for the left arm. And now let's do it for the first three bones of the finger. Make sure to not select the fourth finger because it will give you weird deforms later in the animation. Now do it for all the other fingers. I will fast forward it here. Now let's do the left leg. Scroll down here and select the left up leg till the left toe base and add the chain. For the right part you can go here to the IQ retargeting window and click on the left shoulder for example and select mirror chain. But you can also select all of the left chain bones with shift and click then on mirror chain. Then only hit on OK and check if everything is fine. And that's it for the Y board. Hit save and go back to the content browser. Now right click on the iKey Y board and click create iKey retargeter. On the left side we can see the source and the target character. Under source we have now our Y board. The target is currently not set. Let's fix this. Click into the preview scene to deselect the bones. Then go to the target and select the mannequin. As you can see, the engine tried to retarget the source to the target. You can see here the mapping of the engine, but that is not idle. So let's click on auto map change 
and then click on map all exact. That maps only the change that have the same name. Now we have only to select the left and right clavicle with the left and right shoulder. The last thing we have to do is to edit the retarget pose. So before we do that, go back to the details and move the character to the right. Then on the left side, click on edit retarget pose. As you can see, the whiteboard is in a T pose and the mannequin is inside an A pose. Let's fix this. Click on the upper arm L bone and move it up. Do the same for the right bone. If it's too hard to align the characters, bring the target character back to the default position. Or you can click on the tools in the top and change the steps the tool takes. If needed, click on perspective and change it to top so you can align the elbows. Keep in mind, the better you do the target pose, the better the animation will look. Finally, I will do it for the legs. You can also do it for the fingers, but for this animation we don't need it. When you think you're done, go back to the running retargeter, move the character to the right, go to the asset browser and now double click your animation. And that's everything we have to do here. But I have still one more thing. As you can see, the mannequin has these small boxes here. Those are animation goals. You can click on them and change a lot of settings here. You can rotate or move the goal and the animation will fluently move to that destination. You can click on each finger and close or move it more to the right, to the left, as you need it. But for most use cases, we don't need it. This setting is very powerful and I could make a video of more than 20 minutes only talking about it. But that's too big for this tutorial today. If you want to know more about it, check the Unreal Engine documentation. Finally, let's export our animation. Click on the animation here and click on Export Selected Animation. And here you can see our final result. And that's it for today. See you in the next one.